let's use some of the advanced editing features to modify Texas. To see the advanced digitizing toolbar, go to view, toolbars, and advanced digitizing toolbar, and then select a layer you want to edit, and then click the edit button to toggle editing on. And in this case, if I choose the add ring button and go to the middle of Texas and then just left click until I'm happy with the shape that I've made and right click to finish, we've added a hole to the middle of Texas, which of course is not recommended, but this is how it works. If I want to add an island offshore, for example, I'll hit the select button, I'll select Texas, I'll click on the add part button and I can just left click to draw a shape left click left click and then I'll right click when I'm happy with that the one button is a little bit less obvious is fill ring so if I go and click this button I don't need to select the features if I just click in the hole and right click nothing will happen because you'll get an error message saying the inserted ring is not contained in a feature if I do it over Texas and right click to finish I'll get a new feature there new feature within Texas. I'm going to undo that. And if I want to delete a ring, I'll choose this button. So I put a hole in Texas, which you shouldn't do. So I'll click delete ring and I'll left click in the middle of that hole and that removes it. If I want to remove a part that I created like the island, I'll click on delete part and then we'll delete that island. So this group of tools Let's start with the add ring button and end with the delete part button. They're kind of usually used uh, as part of the same set of tools when you're digitizing. But it can be really useful to be able to do this. Sometimes you want to have the ability to add a lake or an island and that's how you would do it. Once you're done, you can stop editing. And of course, at any time, if you make a mistake, you can always undo things. Okay, so that's how it works. Hopefully you find that useful.